Now, I am absolutely delighted, nay, thrilled, uh, to be able to call up to the Bavarbar stage for the first time in what seems like a hundred years. No, it's just about two, isn't it, since the lockdown started. Uh, Derek Gadd, who is going to do an Ujig Privy. So welcome, please, Derek Gadd. Let's give you this one. Yeah, is that okay? Uh, there you go. Is that, can you just talk into that? Yeah, hello everybody. Excellent. Now, Derek, uh, you're down from London. All the way right, from London. The, yes, but you don't live here. Especially for tonight. Especially for tonight. Well, wonderful. Okay, now, Derek, uh, I have explained to Derek the way, at least I hope I have, I can barely remember the piece of games, but it's going to be fine. Um, so, Derek has told me um, a, a, an unusual fact uh, that's true about himself. And I have uh, made up uh, a, a, a nonsense fact. And I am going to uh, shuffle these bits of paper. I've written them down, written each one down. I'm going to just mix them up. And I'm going to offer them to Derek. He's going to choose one at random. He's going to read it out. And if it's his true fact, he has to make you believe that it's false. And he can't lie when you ask him questions. And if it's, his, if it's my fact, which is false, he has to make you believe that it's true. Does that make sense? It will, you'll, you'll work it out. You always did before the lockdown, and I'm sure you're going to work it out now. So, okay. Derek, are you ready? I'm ready. I should have lined up a drum roll, but I didn't. So, uh, we can do it, thank you. You read it out. I gave Marlon Brando a lift. Okay. Well, you gave uh, just to put a little bit closer to your desk. Sorry. Yeah, that's it. Uh, apparently, you gave Marlon Brando a lift. Does anybody? I gave Marlon Brando a lift. Have any questions to from do? From where to where? Oh, from where to where? Okay. I gave him a lift from a low position to a much higher position. Oh, oh intriguing, intriguing. A question here. Oh, hang on. Question. So, just you were you. My daughter's name? Yeah. I'm happy to give you my daughter's name. What is your daughter's name? I've got three daughters. One's called Sinead, one's called Roisin, and one's called Neve. Random. Okay, well that's some intrigue. <laughs> Question here. <laughs> Question here, Caroline. Yep. Caroline. I'm Caroline. Yes, Caroline. Yes. Oh, was it a facelift? Oh, <laughs> was it a facelift? It was a facelift. Um, I couldn't face it at the time. No, it wasn't a facelift. It was not a facelift. Was it? I've never been into cosmetic surgery, either as a practitioner or a recipient, and I'm sure you can see that from just like... My Susie. My two friends, sorry, a little thing, but my two friends wanted to know if it was sexual. Uh, sad to say, or perhaps I'm delighted to say, no, it wasn't. Oh. It, it, it wasn't sexual. You, yeah, at the back there, question. Was it a lift onto a horse? Was it a lift onto a horse? Now, this is a very interesting idea, and I think this may have picked up the point about going from higher to lower. But it wasn't onto a horse. It wasn't onto a horse. There's another question over there. Yes, we were operating a lift in an expensive hotel, were you? Wow. The, uh, the, it, it was not in an expensive hotel, but I'm going to give you a clue that the idea of a lift rather than a lift yeah. Is a bit of a giveaway. <laughs> so, so is that, is that a yeah? Is that, were you, were you, uh... I'm saying that it, it was not an expensive hotel, but the idea of going up in a lift. Okay, so it could have been a lift. Any, any, yes, question here. So, do you work in the film industry or did you work in the film industry? Uh, I'm afraid to say, despite my, my appearance and despite what you may think about me, no, I've never worked in the film industry. Okay, nor the building it was, Jeff. Oh, sorry, the building. Yeah, building and film. Oh, so you sorry, didn't? No, no. no, okay. None of those things. None of those things. There's a hand up at the back. Yeah? Did you live spiritually or physically? <laughs> 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 my, 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 my close presence to him lifted me. No, I'm afraid to say it was a physical lift rather than spiritual. Physical he, may and been, he, he may well have been spiritually lifted by the experience. A couple more questions and I'm going to put it to a vote. So just one here. Did, did Marlon Brando request you to elevate him? He did. He certainly did. did. He certainly did. And uh, yeah, a question here. Which town and or city and or country? Is the so where did it happen? Where did it happen? Where have I just come from tonight? London, I'm afraid. Okay, so it happened in London. Oh. Yeah, okay, Caroline. Was it a piggyback? 
No, it wasn't a piggyback. It wasn't. I, I think that we were substituting. It was a, an, it an elevator. Raise, it was raising from a lower to a higher level. Okay, okay. I think the. the, the yes. Uh, I've got one son. You can tell his name as well. Yeah. Are you a taxi driver? <laughs> I, I, have, I am not or have never been a taxi driver. Okay. I have a lot of questions. operated something that moves. Which is. Was it an air balloon? Was it an air balloon? <laughs> I haven't got the head for it, sorry. Okay, okay. And there's, there's a, the question's coming. Think about I'm going to take just one more and then we're going to put it to the vote. It's a question then. Sorry. Was it cherry picker? Was it a cherry picker? It's a very, very inventive and intelligent question to come up, but unfortunately it wasn't a cherry picker. It was some sort of transporting vehicle. But not a cherry picker. Okay, okay, well, one, two more. The, the last two questions are then, yeah, at the back, back row, really, I think it is. Was he sober? Was he sober? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, as far as I can make it, yes. He was sober, and in front of you, there was a question. I, I, I was going to ask if you picked him up from the floor. Did you pick him up from the floor? Now, I'm going to be slightly cute here, so I think this might be the last question. Yes, yeah, it is, yeah. Um, I picked him up from one floor to another floor. Ah, oh, there we go. Right. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to call it there. And uh, now what we do is we're going to put it to the vote. Okay. So we're going to see if people think that you're a liar, Derek, or you're telling the truth. So can I, on a show of hands, can I? Who thinks that Derek was telling the truth? That he did give Marlon Brando, and who thinks he was lying? Well, I think I think most of you most of you think that you were telling the truth, Derek. So can you please reveal? Were you lying or telling the truth? Well, I'm going to have to be completely honest with you here and tell you that I've just told you a lie. Ah, there we go. Sorry. But, to round it off, like all good lies, it had some basis of truth in it. And the, I don't know whether this came through, but uh, I was actually once employed as a lift operator. And I did actually once take up in my lift Andy Warhol. Oh, but, who are? Big who are. Anyway, Derek Gadd, thank you so much. Derek.